everyone, hate starting the show off on a sad note. As many of you know, we lost an absolute icon in the music and even motion picture industry. Oh yeah, you know the guy. I can't believe he's no longer with us physically, but David Bowie. Oh my God. British rocker. I mean, this dude was glam rock of all glam rock. No doubt about that. David Bowie. He just celebrated his 69th birthday two days ago, or three days ago now. Sadly passed away last night of cancer. And uh, wow, he had been suffering from cancer for 18 months. Cancer is the root of all evil, no question about it. David Bowie, definite icon, a definite legend, and one that will never, ever, ever be forgotten. David Bowie, rest in peace. In fact, we're going to um, even start off today's show with my favorite David Bowie song, so, moment of silence, please, for a true icon, David Bowie. All right. Yeah, definitely a sad loss, but hang tight. Be right back, because you can't have the show on a sad note. It's nice. David Bowie wouldn't want it that way. Hello, everyone. Monday, January 11th, in the year of our Lord, 2016. How are you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. Hey, you made me money. But it's only four more days till your friggin' eight Friday. And what you're hearing right now is Rebel Rebel, David Bowie, 1974. Fantastic song. You know, I, I gotta confess, I was never a huge David Bowie fan. I was very talented, no question about it. It's not my personal style. But definitely a hell of a lot better than Justine Bieber will ever be. David Bowie, definitely rest in peace. A definite icon, no doubt about that. Alright, uh, did you know today's National Milk Day? Mm. Have your glass of milk. Dang, I should have drank a milk stout for today's show. Mm. National Milk Day. Na <laughs> National Human Trafficking Awareness Day. I think that's every day. We're well aware of it. We know it's wrong. And yeah, people do it all the time. Gary Glitter. Yeah, there's a punk rock ass bag. A glam rock ass bag. Um, having sex with little teenagers. In like Vietnam. Just disgusting. Human, National Human Trafficking Awareness Day. Folks, don't be a part of this. National Step in a Puddle and Splash Your Friends Day. They actually have a holiday for that. Wow. <laughs> Some people like to do that every day. National Clean Off Your Desk Day, the second Monday in January. Yeah, I need to do that. I'm not going to lie. My desk is a disaster. National Clean Off Your Desk Day. So after this show, I'm going to do that. All right, folks. Great song. An icon, David Bowie. All right, today's unofficial sponsor of our show is my good friend, she's over 100 likes now, Gabriella C. Van Laroven, Poo Dog Legend, those sweet eyes that I know down here in the Yeehaw, Texas, I know I know something in Oklahoma, pretty much the same damn state. Her and her awesome boyfriend, Christian Starr, still I work with him down here. And Gabriella's awesome father, Paul, he's a big fan of Baron's song of the day. Paul, you, I'm a fan of you, buddy. But yeah, so Gabriella Van Laroven, and uh, Christian Stogs, an incredible couple. Gabby, you and Christian a while back brought me today's beer of the day. Courtesy of the assistance of your awesome father, Paul. A great beer right here, folks. That's right, New Claris Brewing Company, totally naked. New Claris, totally naked out of New Claris, Wisconsin. 5% alcohol by volume. Normal strength beer. Nice and pure and simple right here. Nothing to hide. Nothing to cover up. Why not bust out a gritty McDuff's beer consumption apparatus for today? Try opening apparatus, pump technique, here we go. 45 degree angle right in the back, suction apparatus, driver from keyboard, because I'm that damn good, I'm supposed to drop yet, never have, never will. And Gabby, the question, Paul, I'm giving you all a standing ovation. And cheer the beer to all of you pushed in Germany, Kapaiz, and San Japan. So 
Yep. Nice and simple. Nothing, nothing uh, crazy. Nothing bad. It's a good, honest beer right here. I give it a B. Good stuff. All right. Folks, get this. Record Center. Now, I was telling my good friend Justin Dimon over at Prosper the other day that, uh, well, last night, I had 17 birthday shout-outs. I realized I was wrong. I got 18. So we better get cracking. And right off the bat, my good friend Kelly Hyden, an absolute sweet out of a lady I know down here at Yeehaw, Texas, all the way down in New Mexico. Kelly, happy birthday to you. And I hope Brandon's going to spoil you rotten because he's a hell of a guy and you're a hell of a woman. man. And Kelly... You and you and Brandon, you guys got to get featured as Real Baby Real Hunk of the Day on Bear and Song of the Day. You haven't given me the uh, thumbs up and the approval yet, but I'd love to do that. Hey, maybe when you guys get married, we can make that happen, huh? Yeah, I think so, too. But, Kelly, happy birthday. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list. Got to bust it out for him because he's the one who gave me the old cowbell. My man John Dixon, a great leader of men, women, and this, and an absolute badass, big time, wicked hardcore. Texas a and Aggies fan that I know down here, and of course, Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as West Louisiana. Pretty much same damn state. John Dixon, happy birthday to you, my brother from another mother, and I hope you're living it up, having a lot of fun, and I hope you make it a real bell ringer. There I am, old cowbell. John, happy birthday, my friend. Hope you have a wicked awesome day and celebrate well and enjoy. And cheers and beers. Next on the list, my good friend. Ah, oh, she's celebrating a milestone birthday today. And she's a former real baby today on Beer and Song of the Day. And her awesome man, Tyler Castleberry, is probably celebrating for her right now. You know, I'm talking about you, Destiny Brown. Destiny Brown. Oh yeah, 21, lots of fun. You know what that means. That means you better be watching Beer and Song of the Day and you be, better be drinking an adult beverage as long as you're not driving, okay? Unless you don't drink alcohol. And if you don't, that's cool too. But hey, you know what? I'm going to drink for you anyway. So Destiny, happy milestone birthday to you. 21, lots of fun. And I hope you have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969 minus the acid. Cheers and beers to you, my dear. And Tyler Castleberry, my man. I know you're going to drink for it, too. Damn right, brother. Hell yeah. Cheers and beers. Mm. Next on the list, my good friend, uh, Melissa Braxma. Oh, yeah, Melissa. I know her through our good friends, Danny and Christina Shepard. Incredible couple. And uh, Melissa, you're awesome. And happy birthday to you. And I haven't heard from you in a little bit, so let me know how you're doing. Love to hear from you. I hope you're having a phenomenal day. Hope you're celebrating your birthday in style. Whenever any other way, and neither should you. And Melissa, happy birthday, my friend, and a big cheers of beers. Next on the list. Ah, she's celebrating a milestone birthday, my good friend, Becky Minich. Becky Minich, as I knew her, Becky Beeson, that's right, a marvelous, fine outstanding graduate of Martha Virginia Beach High School class of 1994. That's right. And Becky, you're celebrating a milestone birthday and great hearing from you. And I hope you're living it up and having a lot of fun and making it the best birthday you've ever had. And Becky, I hope you have a wicked awesome day and celebrate well and enjoy. And a big cheers and beers. And I almost consider you two twins. Because yes, you were born the exact same month, day, and year. And Rebecca Vieira, ah, Becky Vieira, Rebecca Vieira, of course, also celebrating a milestone birthday and also a fine out saying graduate of Martha Vineyard Beach High School class of 1994. That's right. And uh, happy birthday to you, my friend. And how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're getting spoiled rotten, living it up and making, your, making it the best birthday you've ever had. And uh, absolute sweetheart. I hope you have a wicked awesome day. And uh, squid me. Celebrate well and enjoy. Yup. Mm, squid me. And cheers and beers. Mm. Look at that. Baker and Sons Plumbing and Heating and Brothers Business. And it's a damn good one, too. All right. Next on the list. Find out saying Greg from Martha Vineyard Reeves High School Class of 1990. My good friend Chrissy Kurth. An absolute sweetheart I've known for well over two decades, of course. And, uh, hey, 1990. Not as good as 91, but not bad either. 
And she skipped a grade, too, early on in her lifetime. Awesome stuff. A walking brain of a lady. Chrissy, happy birthday to you. And how you doing? Hope you're doing well. And I hope you're having a lot of fun living it up and celebrating your birthday in style. That's what us Islanders do, right? You're damn right. Well, Chrissy, happy birthday, my friend. And a big cheers of beers to you. Next on the list. My man, Matt Vandernast. Ah, Vandernast, right? N-A-S-T? Yeah. Matt Vandernast, of course, I met you recently during the Twilight Zone Marathon. Awesome stuff, man. Five days. We were running it and running it well. A whole bunch of us were. And Matt, happy birthday to you, my friend. And I hope you have a wicked awesome birthday. And brother, great hearing from you. Always a pleasure. You're an absolute badass. And we love the Twilight Zone. I'll be on there tomorrow night chatting it up with all of you. Tomorrow night? Who am I kidding? Wednesday night. Jeez. Wow. Ah. Well, Matt, we'll live it up. Celebrate Twilight Zone as we always do. And we'll celebrate your birthday. And I hope you have a wicked awesome day. And celebrate well and enjoy. And brother, cheers and beers. A little all over the place on that one. Yeah. It's all good. I'm not getting paid for this anyway. Next on the list, my good friend Jack Katzberg. Ah, Jack, a wonderful mafioso and what's going on? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Of course, Mafia Wars, lots of fun on there. We have a lot of fun, crushing skulls, but nobody gets hurt for real. And Jack, haven't heard from you in a long time. Love to hear from you. Drop me a line, let me know how you're doing. And I hope you have a wicked awesome day and celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, Iken Adekoak. I-K-A-N and then A-D-I-K-A-L-A-K. -A, -A, a wonderful lady, a wonderful mafia. At, and I haven't heard from you in a long time either. But I'd love to hear from you. Happy birthday to you. And I hope you're celebrating well, doing very well. And uh, did you know you were born in the exact same month and year as my good friend uh, Melissa Braxma? How about that, huh? Two legends born in the exact same month and year. If that ain't wicked awesome, I don't know what is. Well, I can... Happy birthday, and I'll big cheers to beers. I'll pronounce your, your name right. Iken, I-K-A-N, or is it Icon? I don't know. All right, next on the list. Good to hear from you today. My man Dave Janda, longtime friend of mine on the old Facebook, longtime friend of mine on the Mafia Wars, and man, oh man, have we iced a lot of fools over the years, huh? You're damn right we have. Dave Always a pleasure hearing from you. Always a pleasure chatting with you. And happy birthday, my friend. And I hope you have a wicked awesome day. Live it up. Celebrate well and enjoy. And a big cheers of beers. Next on the list, another wonderful mafia at my good friend Linda Cardi. C-A-R-T-Y. Linda, what's going on? How you doing? Hope you're doing well and hope you're having a lot of fun and celebrating your birthday in wonderful fashion. Hope you're getting spoiled um, better than ever before. And Linda, love to hear from you. Been a little bit. So I hope you have a wicked awesome day and celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers the beers. Next on the list. Ah, my good friend Megan Sataki. An absolute sweetheart of a lady, a wonderful family, uh, a wonderful mommy, a wonderful wife, a wonderful mommy, a wonderful friend, <clears throat> and a big help to many people down here in Yeah, Texas. Although I know it's not in the Mexico, pretty much the same damn country. And Megan, happy birthday to you, my friend. And I hope you're living it up and having a lot of fun and celebrating your birthday in style. I wouldn't have it any other way, and neither should you. Well, Megan, happy birthday, my friend. And a big cheers and beers. Next on the list, Joe Santos. What up, Joe? You badass mamma jamma hard-working son of a gun I work with down here in yeah, Texas. Hey, Texas. It's like a whole other country, and lately they could become their own damn country if they so choose. And I hope your wonderful, gorgeous, better half, Cheryl, spoiling you rotten today. I'm sure she is. You two are an incredible couple. You're absolutely phenomenal. And Joe, brother, you're a hell of a guy. And happy birthday, my friend. And a big cheers and beers to you. Next on the list, my man Ron Deshesky. Oh, yeah. A great leader of men, women, and nets that I work with down here in yeah, Texas. Hey, Texas, it's only 40% of the size of Alaska. Yeah, that's a cute state. It sure is. Well, Ron, what's up, my brother from another mother? I hope you're living it up and have a lot of fun. And I hope you're having a phenomenal day. 
Dude, you gotta live it up. Make it wicked awesome. All right? Make Sean Janil. French for wicked awesome. You know what I'm saying, eh? That's what I'm talking about. All right, Canada, indeed. You gotta get some love to our neighbors up north, and I do that on Baron Song of the Day every single day of the week. Big and A. Well, hey, Ron, happy birthday, my brother, and a big cheers of beers. Next on the list, my man, Christian J. Battle. A badass hardworking man, Majama, that I know from jolly old England. This guy fixes engines for a living. This guy is phenomenal. This guy's a lot of fun to hang out with. I know, been there, done that, and I miss it, and I'd love to do it again. So, brother, happy birthday, my man, and I ain't heard from you in a little bit. So, hey, drop me a line, let me know how you do it, will ya? I hope you have a wicked awesome day, and celebrate while and enjoy, and brother, a big cheers and beers to you. And the final birthday of the day is a... Oh, no, I lied. We got a couple more. Ha-ha. <laughs> nice try. My good friend, Cindy, uh, Cynthia Reinhardson. I know she's married now. I haven't heard from her in forever. She's not on Facebook. And she's the wonderful sister of my good friend, Inger. And the whole Reinhardson family absolutely love them. And Cynthia, a fine arts and graduate of Matsu Vinyavis High School, class of 1989. Folks, if you're in touch with Cynthia, let her know. I've never forgotten her birthday. Cynthia, happy birthday to you, my friend. And I hope you have a wicked awesome day. Love to hear from you. Draw me a line. Let me know how you're doing. Hope you have a wicked awesome day and celebrate well and enjoy. And cheers and beers. <coughs> Squeeze me. Now the final birthday of the day goes to a very good friend of mine. Weapons in the house! My man, Mike Schimpf. Now, Mike, a wonderful family man, a wonderful hardworking guy, a great leader of men and women, and it's just an awesome, awesome guy all around. Mike, happy birthday to you, my man. And I got a question. Is it a milestone birthday today? Were you born the exact same month, day, and year as my good friends, uh, Becky and Rebecca? I think you were, but I can't remember for sure. But I remember your birthday, and I hope you're living it up and have a lot of fun. And hear from me a little bit. Drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing, brother. And hope you have a wicked awesome day and celebrate well and enjoy. And big cheers and bears, Mike. All right, folks. That's a lot of birthdays. Wow. So with that said, um, we have ourselves... Oh, a wedding anniversary. How dare I forget this. This wonderful couple. Absolutely loved them. The pride of Fresno, California, the land of fruits and nuts, otherwise known as Southern Oregon. My man, Adam, and his wonderful, gorgeous, exquisite, wicked, awesome, better half, Wendy. And Adam, I know you'll agree with me on that. Adam and Wendy Baines, an incredible couple. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Adam and Wendy, happy anniversary to the two of you. Been married one year today, but been together a lot longer. Love you guys. Miss you. Can't wait to hang out with you again. Next time I go to California, we're going to be hanging out, partying like it's 1969 minus the acid. In the meantime, Adam and Wendy, happy anniversary to the two of you from yours truly, the love doctor, Reverend Dr. B. Hope you have a wicked awesome day and celebrate well and enjoy. Mmm. All right. With that said, we had ourselves a trivia question. Yannick Garcia of Mexico. <whistles> oh, yeah. She has become quite well known around the world, not only for her beauty, but because of her occupation as well. What is her occupation? Ha! Lisa Shrewsbury, you said medium. I thought that was a good answer, but it wasn't the right answer. Of course, she is bewitching because many men and a bunch of women I just mesmerized by her. But no, my good friend, um, Dan Santoro, uh, good old Yeehaw, Texas, and a badass crew dog, Dan the man you said weather girl, bam, you nailed it, wicked awesome job, and a big, I love Dr. Salute to you, oh hell yeah, Dan Santoro, I know you've watched it, and whether you speak Spanish or not, it doesn't matter. Because when she's um, doing the weather, we're just in awe. She's like the most beautiful weather girl. The weather, most beautiful meteorologist in the world. Dan, let's drink. Oh, Lisa, let's drink too. I liked your answer. 
Arsenal. Folks, it's that time of the week, baby. That's right. You know it. It's that time. Here it is. We're talking about the Fan of the Week winner. And this week's Fan of the Week is a new, going to be a new face to the album. But they are not new to Baron Songer today. Oh, no, they've been a big fan for a long time. They're actually a spinoff of Baron Songer today. An incredible page. That's right. Prosper. Folks, if you don't know Prosper, you're cheating yourselves. Facebook.com slash LLA Prosper. All one word. Prosper, you shared every single show every day. You shared the page almost every day. You shared every single picture the entire week. My God. And our good friend George Sekman of Exotic Japan was so close. He was fighting you tooth and nail. But you put it over the top when you shared the page a few times as well. And a couple um, followers of Prosper joined Beer and Song of the Day. That put you over the edge. And Prosper, my good friends, you out to Smurf Lily nailed it. Hell yeah, here you go. Um, and I screwed it up, and you're going to give me shit for it. That's what I was supposed to do. The drum roll. Prosper. That's right. Well, shit. Please forgive me. Nobody's perfect. If I was perfect, I'd be playing third base for the Boston Red Sox. That'd be perfect to me. Either way, Prosper, you... Earned it. You like Smith Barney? You made it the old fashioned way. You earned it. Hey, cheers and beers and a huge love like the salute to you. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, it's only the second time that I've done the uh, announcement of Fan of the Week winner by put incorporating both new musical effects. So, practice. We're talking practice, man. Like Alan Iverson. I'll keep practicing and it will get better. Because, like a fine wine. I get better with age there, Prosper. And so do you. All right. With that said, wow. That, my friends, that's a lot of shout-outs. i got to give three shout-outs to three people that requested our baby of the day for today. And I'm talking about my man Joe Zuniga. I'm talking about my man Willie Holt. Yeah, you know that name. And I'm talking about my man Mark Klinger. You three guys wanted a particular babe of the day. So you better keep watching because I am going to deliver that babe of the day to you. In the meantime, let's talk about today's vehicle of the day. Look at this. It's a V8 Ford, 1952 V8 Ford. Uh, what the hell is it called? Vedette, V-E-D-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. 1952 Ford V8 Vedette. There you go. Your vehicle of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. There's a tie-in for this vehicle of the day. You'll hear it soon enough. Today's instrument of the day. Oh, I'm bringing out. I'm bringing out a legend, folks. Now, a lot of people are not familiar with this man, but this guy is awesome. He's 88 years old now and still going strong. Phenomenal pianist. Kind of a bluesy, jazzy pianist. Mose Allison. Phenomenal musician. He's been wowing the audiences for 60 plus years. This guy's amazing. Mose Allison, he is freaking awesome. And that's his piano, your instrument of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. How about our pet of the day? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think you know where I'm going with this one. This is um, Yannick Garcia's dog. Yannick Garcia, of course, that beautiful Mexican meteorologist. <laughs> And that's her doggy right there. That is so cute. Aww. So Yannick, Yannick Garcia's uh, dog, your, that's your pet of the day on Bear and Song of the Day. Hell yeah. I think it's time we bring out some music. I think it's time that we bring out our hunk of the day. We'll talk celebrity birthdays. And then we'll bring out our baby of the day. Play some more music. Talk about this day in history. And we'll wrap it up. So without further ado, I bring to you... V8 Ford B Blues from 1962. Mose Allison. Fantastic song. That's him nowadays, folks. He's 88 and doing great. I'm coming along myself and throw some dirt in your face. I'll be right down at your bed. Riding in my V8 Ford. 
Mose Allison, a legend. You think you so high style and worldly? Sadly, he's not more well known. Well, folks, we have here in Song of the Day. We make sure we bring you those to you, shows, you that are less like famous. Too. Because they deserve you know, with me every bit of notoriety. Happen to you, I'll be right down at your bed. Mose Allison. That's right. Didn't know he was a white guy, did ya? He sure is. So oh yeah. Oh yeah. Listen to that. That's bluesy, baby. Ah, I wonder if my good friends John and uh, Rebecca Peterson love this song. John Peterson, I hope you're familiar with uh, Mose Allison. You being the big time blues aficionado that you are, and Rebecca being an absolute sweetheart that you are, I hope you too love this song. I hope you too love Mose Allison as much as I do. Hey, how about some celebrity birthdays? Yeah, that's right. Abdullah the Butcher, legendary wrestler, famous for blading his head. That dude's got rivers of scars in his head. And he's one of the most hardcore wrestlers in history. And I can't believe he's still alive, to be honest with you. He's 75 years old today. Uh, Clarence Clemens, legendary saxophonist, born this day in 1942, passed away in 2011. I get my gas in the morning. My man, my all-time favorite NBA basketball player ever, the Chocolate Thunder, Daryl Dawkins. Born this day in 1957. Sadly passed away much too young at the age of 58, just last year, 2015. I miss him. Chocolate Thunder, Daryl Dawkins. Uh, Vicks Peter, oh, Vicky Peterson, excuse me. Vicky Peterson, she's 58, doing great. She's the founder of the Bangles. That's right, with Susanna Hoffs. Uh, Mary J. Blige, legendary rhythm and blues singer. She's 45 years old today. Actor, Jedediah Goodacre. It's a hell of a name right there. Very biblical. I like it. He's 27 years old today. Alexander Hamilton, of course, the Famous Secretary of State, or Secretary of Treasury, rather, Alexander Hamilton. He's on the $10 bill, and him and Aaron Burr got into a duel in 1804, and Aaron Burr uh, killed Alexander Hamilton. Hey, back then, dueling was legal. I think they need to bring dueling back. You got a problem? Just shoot each other. Whoever survives wins. But Alexander Hamilton, born in the state in 1755, passed away in 1804. Amanda Peet, actress. 44 years old today, and I hate to say it, but she looks every bit of it, too. She really, she has not aged well. Here's a woman that has aged well. Country singer Naomi Judd. She is gorgeous. She's 70 years old today, folks, and she looks fan-freaking-tastic. She really does. Of course, the mom of uh, Winona Judd, who's not as attractive. And then, oh yeah, that's right, Ashley Judd. Yeah, baby. Uh, Rod Taylor. I love this guy. Great actor. Loved him in Twilight Zone. But I also loved him in the 1960 movie, The Time Machine. Folks, if you've never seen the movie, The Time Machine, you have got to go see that movie. Um, I guarantee just about every single Twilight Zone fan has seen it. And I guarantee that any fan of tra time travel has probably seen The Time Machine. The Time Machine, a classic. But Rod Taylor, born in the state 1930, sadly passed away last year at the age of 85 in 2015. I lied. He was 84. He passed away just like two days prior. I think. Yeah. But Rod Taylor, an absolute icon. Big fan of him. Look at that Mose Allison. Look at that hair, baby. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Tony Allen, Boston Celtics NBA basketball player. 34 years old today. Awesome stuff. So Mose Allison, your hunk of the day on Baron's Song of the Day. An icon, a legend. Like I said, 88 and doing great. And I love the hat. I got one of those. No uh, Panama hat. So there you go. Let's drink to that. All right, folks. Time for our baby today. And this is Wicked Hot. And so is this song. From November 8th, 1957. Parchment Farm. Mose Allison Trio right here. I love this song and I think you will too. It's a mover and a groover. I want to jam it. Well, I'm sitting over here on Parchment Farm. That song's hot. So is our baby today. For all you out there that have requested her, Yannick Garcia, your weather girl. 
in her beautiful asset. She's hot, real hot, damn hot, we got her smoking hot. Fire that new set of snow ties. Oh, yeah. Yannick Garcia. Incredible. Honestly, 1995, 21 years ago today. I got a friend of mine that was born 21 years ago today. Destiny Brown, the day that you were born, the fifth television network, the WB network, Warner Brothers begins. And it started WPIX TV Channel 11, New York City. On his day, 1985, Denver Nuggets beat the San Antonio Spurs 163 to 155, highest scoring NBA basketball game in history. Good, good. Or Clay Bodge, French for Cleavage. On his day, 1982, Atlanta Georgia's temperature goes below zero degrees Fahrenheit. That's wicked cold, folks, but she's wicked hot. She'll warm it right up. Say 1980, debut of the music group The Pretenders, how about that? Say 1975, ABC TV airs the final episode of Love American Style. America, damn right. As I'm doing over a Mexican woman, ha! Say 1970, here's the uh, George segment special right here. George, you might want, you know this one. 46 years ago today, Super Bowl IV, your Kansas City Chiefs beat the Minnesota Vikings 23-7 in New Orleans, Louisiana. The Super Bowl MVP, of course, quarterback number 16, Len Dawson. I'm sitting over here. Honestly, 1966, 50 years ago today, Doc Tari, African Adventure Series, premieres on CBS Dell Television. Honestly, 1965, Ooh, man. First government report, warning, saying, says, smoking may be hazardous to your health. Yep. First government report, warning, wow, 52 years ago today. We all know about it now. Honestly, 1963, first discotheque opens, the world famous Whiskey and Go-Go in Los Angeles, California. On this day, also in 1963, the Beatles released Please, Please, Me, and Ask Me Why. On this day, 1960, Chad declares independence from France. Happy Independence Day, Chad. That's country, folks, in Africa. Also on this day in 1960, man, Lamar Clark sets a professional boxing record. 44 consecutive knockouts. Yeah, speaking of knockouts... How about her, huh? Yannick Garcia. Y-A-N-E-T. Garcia. Honestly, 1949. Snowfall first recorded in Los Angeles, California. Honestly, 1942. 23 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. 31 below zero Celsius. Kingston, Rhode Island. That's a state record. Honestly, 1938. Francis Moulton elected first female president of a U.S. bank. How about that? U.S. National Bank. Excuse me. Honestly, in 1927, the Royale Theater, also known as Golden Theater and CBS Radio Playhouse, opens at 242 West 45th Street, New York City. Honestly, in 1922, a huge day indeed as Princess Delilah comes in. Hi, Princess Delilah. Hi. You almost missed Pop the show. One. Oh, thank you, BB Dodgers. Um, Honestly, in 1922, insulin is first used to treat diabetes. That's right. Thank God that was, and that was yeah, I know, right? That's Leonard Thompson, who was 14 years old, of good old Canada. Insulin, a true lifesaver, no doubt about that. On his day in 1915, oh my God. Colonel Jacob Rupert and Colonel Tillinghast Houston purchase the New York Yankees for $460,000. We all know what happened there. The Red Sox sold all the great players to the Yankees a few years later. The rest is history. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. On his day in 1913, first sedan type car, the Hudson, goes on display at the 13th Auto Show in New York City. On his day in 1892, Paul Gauguin. Yeah, I know. A lot of you love Paul Gauguin, the artist. Well, listen to this shit. Paul Gauguin marries a 13-year-old Tahitian girl. Paul Gauguin was 43 years old. You think he's robbing the cradle a little bit? I do, too. Yeesh. Why in 1813, first pineapples planted in Hawaii. They say it was this day or January 21st. They're not certain of that, but either way, I don't care. Hawaii, pineapples, Hawaii, I'll dig that, and I dig Yannick Garcia, your final picture on Beer and Song of the Day for today. And our final uh, 
Mention of this day in history on this day in 1569, the first recorded lottery in England is drawn in St. Paul's Cathedral. Not Paul Van Larven's Cathedral, although they ought to give it to him. But St. Paul's Cathedral, there you go. Speaking of lotteries, how about that? $1.3 billion for Powerball? Good God, I hope I win it. I really do. That'd be great. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. Let's drink a slam at home, shall we? Empty as the brain cells of an average Los Angeles Lakers fan. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, remember that to me. Folks, I'm making a fetus to head out. You know whenever the pizza exploded and the sauce was everywhere? Yeah. There's a stain on the pan. Well, wash it off. I can't. It's a stain. Oh, uh, well, yeah, you're right. It is what it is. Folks, time to make a feed us to head out. Somebody take care. We'll get off some night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. You might spill your drink. Or you might kill yourself. Or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumb to being a Yankees fan. But what's dumb to that is being a fan of Justine. Eh, I have no talent and everybody hates me. Yeah, no shit, because you're a little dweeb. Beaver. But what's something that is men slapping women or animal abuse or racism or people watch on bets or fake friends or anybody that supports the fans or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church or ISIS? <laughs> Things like that are just plain stupid. I definitely deserve a B. Ha! Jeff Way. Folks, I'm out of here. Before I go, who you got tonight? National Championship, NCAA College Football Championship. You've got Clemson, who's undefeated, playing against Alabama Crimson Tide. Folks, I'd love to see Clemson win, but Tide's going to roll them by at least two touchdowns. Roll Tide. They got it. They're going to win again. But, folks, my see you all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.